Let's look at this problem of finding the limit of this integral and with cosine fourth power. So this expression seems to be complex. Now pay attention to the values. Pause the video, try to solve it. The first thing you want to notice is that as n goes bigger and bigger, the value of n vectorial would be dominating one. However, nx we know that for the cosine, it will oxygenate between negative 1 and 1, right? That's two observations. Cosine x function here, right? So the period is going to be from 0 to 2 pi here. If n goes bigger, the period is going to be shorter, okay? So it will change rapidly, right, as n goes big. That's cosine and x. Now, if you have force power, what you have is going to be a positive value. And of course, the period now is pi instead of 2 pi here, right? And of course, if n gets bigger, force power is also oxidating faster and faster, right? And of course, we do not have the small enough scale in order to see it. Back to our problem, n factorial as n goes to infinity is going to be the dominating term. Now, in the meantime, nx will make this function here oscillate rapidly as n goes to infinity. So, if you take the integral with this interval here from 0 to 2023, 20, you notice that the value here, we just need to find out what is the average value for one period of the function, the fourth power of cosine x. Again, let's recap. So the value here would equal to s times 2023, where s is the average value of cosine fourth power in one cycle. All right, earlier we know that one period is pi, right? So we're gonna average the value here in this interval here, right? So how do we calculate that? That's come down to the trig identity here that's called power reduction formula, all right? So that's average value. How do we do this? How do we evaluate this value here, right? And we use power reduction formula that's relates cosine square with cosine two x. Sometimes people refer to this as a half angle formula or power reduction formula here, right? Of course, we have the force power, which means you have to square it, right? So if you square it, you expand it out and becomes this term here, and you still have a square, okay? So we need to get rid of it in order to calculate the integral, right? So what you can do is to apply the formula again, this time for cosine square 2x, all right? So what you're going to get is cosine 4x, right? Applying this is the formula for power reduction on cosine square 2x, right? So combine the term, you're going to have this. Now, here, the integral over one cycle, now cosine 2x and cosine 4x would average to 0. That's cosine 2x from 0 to pi, you have one full cycle here, so which means the integral value would be zero. So this is going to be zero, this is going to be zero, so you have two constant terms, so the integral from zero to pi is just simply pi, which is the length of the integral times two constant here, so we have this value. Now, go back to the original problem, since we know this integral here is going to be 3 pi over 8, and here the average would be divided by pi, then 3 over 8. And the integral earlier, we claimed that that's s times 2023. So which means we have s here, the average value in one period. And the answer is going to be this. It's really important to observe the pattern of cosine function as n gets big. That's really the intuition required for you to solve this problem.
We have many other interesting problems with either number 2023 or trigonometry, calculus, or computer science. So please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.